Hello everyone, I am Mantira. Welcome to my channel Smart Thinker. Today I am going to discuss the poem Mother and the Mouse. The poem is written by Faith Traxon. Before delving deep into the poem, let us know about our poet first. Faith Traxon was born in Mumbai, India in 1969. So our poet is an Indian and she was born in 1969 in Mumbai. She is a prolific writer. Prolific means creative, productive, in short, she is a very good writer and she is very much well known for her humorous poems. Humorous means funny poems. She believes that one of the best gifts one can give a child is to help the child develop a love for reading. Our poet thinks that one of the best gift that one of the best gift that somebody can give to a child is uh, to increase the child's interest towards reading. Okay, so let us read the poem now. My mom is not the sort of mom who will squeal and faint and shiver. Darkness doesn't scare her. When it thunders, she won't quiver. Squeal means high-pitched cry. Okay. And quiver means shake with a rapid motion. So here the child says that my mother is not that kind of mom who will cry and get faint as a faint hojana or who will shiver. My mom is not like that. Even when it, there is darkness, then also my mother doesn't get scared. And when it thunders, when there is lightning and th thunderstorm uh, outside, outside, then then also my mother doesn't shake with fear uh, in a rap rapid motion. That means here the child says that his or her mother is very strong and uh, not at all fearful. She is very strong kind of mom. Okay. When I decide to play up, she fixes me with a stare. One flashing look from her big eyes and I just don't care to dare. Okay, so whenever I decide to skip my study or skip something important and do uh, and I want to play or do something less important, then what my mother does, she shows uh, her big eyes to me. She stares at me. So then I get scared and I start doing my study or the important things rapidly. I don't even uh, think to disobey her because I am very uh, fearful of my mother. She has a big eyes and she looks at me with her big eyes. So it was with shock one morning when I woke up from a dream to hear my valiant mighty mom let out a high pitched scream. But one day I got really shocked. I heard a sound and I suddenly woke up. I was dreaming. I was sleeping. I was dreaming and suddenly I woke up because I heard a sound. And I, uh, whose sound was that? It was my mighty and valiant mom's sound. Valiant means brave mother. I heard my brave mother's sound and she cried in a high-pitched scream. She screamed. Okay. Scream means to cry. She cried. I woke up when I heard my mighty mothers that means strong mothers uh, noise or scream i rest to see her perched up high upon the kitchen sink squealing like a baby bat right on the edge the brink i ran to see her see my mother that what has happened why my mother screamed so i ran to see her perched means uh, sitting on something high and narrow so i went to see her she was sitting on something high and narrow uh, upon the kitchen sink upon the kitchen sink she was sitting on something high and narrow uh, squaring like a baby bat right on the edge the brink she was screaming like a baby in the kitchen. I asked her what the matter was. Had the pressure cooker burst or had the oven scorched her hand? I did expect the worst. Then the child asked her mother, why did her mother cry? Because she told that na, her mother is very strong. She, it is not uh, very often that her mother screams. So the child asked, what is the matter mother? Did the pressure cooker burst or your you got burnt 
well while you are cooking because the child was expecting something worse definitely if a sound comes from kitchen then definitely something bad has happened that is why the child were asking his or her mother that what has happened okay she whimpered like a baby and pointed to a mouse that had the girl and timidity to enter into the house whimpered means making a series of low sounds shows fear when we are fearful we whimper so in that same way her mother was also whimpering so she whimpered like a baby when small small babies got scared they whimper so she, her mother was whimpering like a baby she whimpered like a baby and pointed to a mouse her mother pointed to a mouse that had the girl and temerity to enter into the house she and she pointed uh, in towards a mouse that mouse uh, had that uh, girl means bold and insolent behavior and temerity means audacity that means boldness that means her mother pointed towards a mouse which mouse showed his uh, boldness by entering into their house her mother was thinking how dared that mouse enter into my kitchen so her mother was whimpering at, at one hand she was whimpering other hand she was thinking that how dared the mouse enter into my house i picked a broom and shoot at it i chased it to the hall so i picked a broom and i followed the mouse after it i chased it to the hall then it was running towards the hall there also i followed the mouse i almost whacked it sharply i almost hit that mouse and for driving mummy up that wall i was very angry towards that mouse because because of the mouse my mother got scared and the mouse had driven my mother up that wall so that is why i was very angry towards that uh, mouse and i was following the mouse all over the places but it was quick and cunning cunning means very smart and soon gave me the slip it vanished in the hallway into the garden slip but what happened next it as it was very quick it was it was running very fast and it was a very smart mouse so what happened suddenly it got vanished from in front of my eyes so it it i couldn't see the mouse in front of my eyes because it was very uh, quick and it was very sharp mouse so it got vanished from my eyes i ran into the kitchen and helped my mother down trembling like an autumn leaf she wore a frightened frown autumn leaf means in the season of autumn the dry leaves they fell uh, shakingly Mm, on the ground so like that my mother was shivering she was shaking because of fearfulness because she got scared because of the mouse she was so scared so petrified with the mouse that she was wearing a frightened frown that means she was really petrified with the mouse okay i don't like mice she whispered her big eyes round with fear i felt like superheroes do so glad that i was near so my mother then said that i don't like mice and her big uh, round eyes they got uh, her big eyes got round because of fearfulness because she was very petrified and i feel that means the child felt that she is a hero because she has rescued uh, uh, her mother because she, her mother was petrified with the uh, mice or mouse and she rescued her mother so that is why the child felt that a superhero kind of feeling uh, she was getting i told her not to worry with the mice i was at war i promised her that she would be safe for that what children are for so i then i told my mother that mother you you don't need to worry because i am here i almost fought i fought with the uh, mice and uh, i am the winner i have rescued you so i promise that you will be safe because i am here because for what for that's what children are for that means in the last line poet says that children are very courageous they are very strong they can rescue or they can face any problem we have got an example here that the child has rescued uh, his or her mother so that is why poet said that for that's what children are for because children are very uh, strong they are very brave they are very courageous